What's up everybody, Charlie here with Hot Tips, here with another WordPress theme tour for you. Today, we are going to be taking a look at Corporative. This is a brand new theme that just came out by Ridwan, and uh, it is packed full of just amazing functionality and a really elegant display and a lot of great usability options that are sort of built into the theme to help you make websites faster and easier and uh, overall make them better. Uh, for instance, this theme does come with support for Parallax Images, it comes with support for uh, WooCommerce, it has WPML integrated in it as well. You have Visual Composer Page Builder, as well as Layer Slider and Slider Revolution all included in the theme. So there's a lot of stuff built into this here, as well as a couple of other things that I personally just really enjoy, like mega menu setups and things like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features on the outside uh, and the front end of the site, and uh, sort of talk about some of the pros and cons of Corporative. If at any point during this tour, you would like to check out this yourself, you can see this exact uh, demo site here by visiting the annotation in the top left corner of the screen or by clicking the uh, link in the description down below. So as you can see, we have layer slider and slider revolution sort of built in. You can choose which one you'd like to, to use here. I'm, I'm kind of thinking this is a layer slider slider here myself. Uh, as we look at the top header here, we can see that we have a secondary header up above where you can sort of switch languages because it's got WPML built into it. You can also put your location and your phone number here as well as it's corporative. It's implied that you're going to be using it for corporate purposes. Uh, we also have uh, a social media integration up here as well. And there's a variety of different header organizations that we can sort of use here. So for example, if I want the header to be centered, I can also do a centered logo with the header down here like this, and, you know, stuff still is up here. Or I could also do what's called a more modern uh, approach to things. And you can see that we sort of got rid of some of the, the bloat and space. And we just have this nice header here that with the search bar that's sort of integrated into the header as well. And, as, and of course, as you slide down the page, the menu is going to be slightly transparent, which is very nice. And it also follows you completely. So you never lose your navigation elements. And the final easy header approach is just simple classic, which sort of gets rid of the secondary header and has everything down here. And then the social media icons are actually embedded right here as well. So that's great. And as we slide down the page again, you get to see that social media stays with you as well. So there's a variety of different things right away in just the header, uh, different approaches to things. The demo also features a display for a variety of different uh, page setups that you could have uh, by giving you a lot of different versions of the home page. So if you're going to check out this demo, which I highly recommend you to at least just check it out because it's it's got a lot of really cool functionality to it. Uh, you can look at the different organizations of your home page by just simply selecting one from here and you can sort of just see how they've played things out. Now, you don't have to do the home pages like they've done them, clearly, but they are showing you the diversity of the theme, and a lot of this is aided by having Visual Composer built into the theme so that you can you know, really visually organize your pages uh, right on the front end of the site, too. He's got a front-end page builder, if you'd like, as well. There's also a lot of animation elements that go into things, like hover effects and scrolling effects. And uh, as you, as, let's take a look, for example, at this, the normal uh, version 1 here for a second. You can see we have these nice little uh, animations that pop up with more detail buttons, which is really nice and clean. Uh, as we scroll down the page, you can see we have fade effects, we have sliders like this, we've got hovers, which have uh, icons that are specific to the type of post. So for instance, this is a video post, but if I do this here, you can see there's a completely different icon, a completely different icon, and a completely different icon. And yet, I don't have to tap this icon to go to the post. I can tap anywhere inside this whole box, which is great. I hate I hate it when the hover effects actually restrict you to only clicking on the little element that pops up. I wanna be able to click on anything. And I can do that with this theme. I can just click anywhere on the side here and open it up and there it is. This is just one of many different types of things that you could sort of work with, but this is like a single portfolio page. So multiple columns for the portfolio page, related stuff in the portfolio. You can click another thing here. You can see we have project descriptions. We have an in, uh, embedded little gallery that we can flip through as well. Uh, this is also touch responsive, which is really great. So I can actually slide this with my mouse if I want to. That's fantastic. Uh, it's also got um, smooth scrolling enabled in it as well. So uh, you know I can sort of just flip through these really easily. It's very nice, very elegant. 
Now let's take a look at the, me the menus for a second because there's something I don't exactly like about the menu and I'm not entirely sure if there's a way to shut this off, but if there isn't, I think the developer should definitely add it because there's a little bit of a glitchiness or a bug with this type of a setup, at least for the sake of usability goes. And that has to do with this right here. You'll notice that as I hover over top of menu items, the menu sort of goes away before I can get to the items. And that's because of this little bounce animation that sort of comes in here. The menu is made to sort of bounce into place. So you can see that it just sort of bounces. And if you, if you hover your mouse down to select an item before this little bounce animation finishes, the menu will not display for you. So you have to sort of wait for that menu animation to finish before you can scroll down to this. And I'd like it, I'd really like it actually, if I could shut that off. Because unnecessary animations, uh, especially when they impede user experience, I, I just want to shut them off. I, I want it to have it there. Uh, so that's really my only complaint as far as navigation goes though, because this, I mean, navigation, having mega menus built in is just fantastic already. So I've got no complaints there. Uh, I wish, I sort of wish I could have custom icons nested next to these things and I probably can. They just maybe haven't done it for the demo. Uh, there is over 620 retina ready icons sort of built into this theme, uh, as well as, uh, just all sorts of stuff. I mean, it's completely retina ready, so all, everything's going to be super sharp. The text is going to be super sharp for everything. Uh, if we take a look real quick here at coming soon page, you'll notice that you can have a custom page template with this as well. So on this particular page, we have a, it's a basically just a custom, a, a coming soon page, as you can see. We have no header and we have no footer. So this is completely customized. It's like a blank slate to start off with. Uh, and you can do that same thing here. Another anime, another uh, demonstration of that is to do a maintenance mode page. So you could set, you could have this sort of saying 90% completed. So you could update your fan base or update your customers or the people who are existing uh, customers or people who know about your brand. You could update them on the completion of your website to help them understand when they might be able to visit it if you wanted. Completely, completely. Uh, easy to do there. And of course, 404 pages too, you have to be able to do that. I do wish that there was a search function or some some sort of a site map kind of built into the 404 page. I really wish that existed. Uh, I know there is a search bar here, but it'd be nice to have a dedicated search bar here uh, on the 404 page, uh, just to help with user navigation a little bit more, especially on mobile devices. Uh, which, of course, as you can tell here by just doing this, it is absolutely responsive. But the main reason for wanting a search bar right on this page is because on mobile, there is no obvious search function. You have to sort of scroll down, and then even then, there is still no obvious search function. Search bars are critical for navigation. They are critical for usability. And by having the mobile version of this website, as you can see, by having the mobile version of this not have an easily accessible search bar, it's kind of a downer. I think that's just not really what you would want. Now, if we take a look at some of the other headers here, for, for instance, let me just scroll this back out and see if I can get a different header, maybe one that says modern. Maybe the search bar will be in here. And uh, no, no search bar there. Okay, one more try. Just want to make sure I'm not missing something here. We'll go another classic here. And no, so there's no search bar built in at all for the mobile site, which is a really unfortunate downer. You need a search bar built into it. Even if it was embedded in the menu somewhere, that would still be nice to have, but there's just nothing in there. So that's, eh, I'm hoping they fix that. And that's a really easy fix. So putting that in an update is not gonna be difficult. So you keep seeing all these different elements on the page. Let's take a look at some of the short codes that make up those elements. So if I'm gonna hover my mouse over short codes, you can see right away there's a ton of them. But if I'm gonna, I'm gonna click one of them and you can see the little struggle I'm having and just selecting one if I move too quickly. So uh, <laughs> that, that's why I want that menu to change. Uh, let's just take a look at, uh, I don't know, buttons, why not? When I click buttons, you're gonna see we have all the other short codes on the right side here. So we can flip through them pretty easily now. But uh, you can see that there's a variety of different styles to buttons, a variety of different colors. You can incorporate your own icons into the buttons as well. And like I said, there's over 620 Retina Reddit icons built into this theme. Uh, and the demo content and the installation of all of this stuff on your own site has a one-click installation. So don't have to worry about multiple XML files and all that stuff. One-click installation will really help out a lot. Uh, it's got Google Maps. Uh, as far as the shortcode goes, it's got Google Maps. 
We have services short codes that again have this hover effect that I really like. It adds some energy to the page. It adds some unique flair to the page and it makes it super obvious where you're supposed to click. More detail, more detail. How I would like to be able to click the icon. I do sometimes find myself being able to click the icon, but I have to remember that this is also there's also a button that's just flying in your face with more detail and that's it's pretty obvious that more detail is supposed to be selected with these tiny little units here post sliders same thing we have thumbnails we can you know this stuff is sort of embedded and sort of comes with WordPress but they have some unique stylings to things like these custom little um, you know excerpts and text and stuff and like I, as you can see here it's completely touch responsive. I can flip through this like a book, like pages in a book. It's really nice, really easily to do this. Pricing tables, again, pretty self-explanatory. All this stuff is just, I mean, there's it's really elegant. I really like it. And uh, let's take a look at their shop if you want. Uh, you can take a look at shops. You can see WooCommerce is built into it too. Um, it's got little hover effects, just like WooCommerce does. This these features are mostly sort of related to WooCommerce itself, not really necessarily the theme, but there is a little bit of custom things like these little shake effects and stuff that sort of add a little bit of energy to the page, maybe distract a little bit, maybe they're unnecessary, but they do add some energy to the page as well. Uh, and that's really all there is to things. I mean, that's there's there's so many things to cover here. I can't do it all in one video, but uh, there's just uh, there's a lot of really convenient features, a lot of really great short codes. Uh, I think the only thing it's really missing, uh, well, aside from the little glitches and bugs that I mentioned before, uh, I think the only thing that's really missing is I, I would have liked to see some sort of a forum integration. I understand that not every theme can do this, but given that it's a corporately driven theme and you're offering so many short codes and so many features within it, I think some custom styling for BB Press would have been great. You know, I mean, that's it doesn't doesn't take that much time to integrate great BB press into your theme and for a theme that costs this much and has been labeled as premium I would have kind of liked to have seen um, you know some, some BB press custom BB press functionality because I think this theme could work really well for having its own community its own customer forum type uh, structure I think that would have been really great uh, but yeah other than that the menu little glitches and the fact that there's absolutely no search bar on mobile pages uh, this theme has got really got it all. It's really got things together. I really like it. Uh, and if you want to check it out yourself, uh, you can check it out with the annotation in the top left hand corner or the link in the description below. But uh, my official review of this is if you have a website that you're building for your business and you don't need a forum, uh, even if you did really need a forum, I'm sure the, the default BB press styling would still sort of serve your purpose, but you might need some, you know, play around with some custom CSS and stuff to make it look really good on your site. But uh, other than that, I mean, portfolios, as you can see here, we have portfolio listings, mockups, all these things here. You click one shows you everything that's in that category that's really nice. So that's really all I have to say about it. If, uh, if you like it, go check it out. And if you don't, or if you have some questions, I guess, you can contact me with uh, the description area down below, I guess, or visit me at priormedia.net slash contact. I don't give free theme support for third-party themes like this, so if you need support for the theme, please go to the developers forum. They provide excellent support, uh, grade A support. They're really dedicated to people, and uh, you know, the community of WordPress is just fantastic. So if you need help, Please go to the source of the theme before coming to uh, before you come to me. I'd like to save you some money by allowing you to have support from the people who you actually purchased the theme from. Uh, and if you'd like a preview of the admin areas of this theme, let me know down in the description down below. Uh, I might be able to do a tour of that if most people or if enough people actually want me to. So anyway, uh, I'm Charlie from Hot Tips, and uh, this has been this has been Corporative. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.